Mental health is like the invisible air that surrounds us. It is something we're all affected by, yet it's something we hardly discuss. Norald Alde wrote an opinion piece for the Los Angeles Times regarding the importance of mental health for um, students, and I believe it is a both productive and unproductive discourse opinion piece. And there is a lot of information I would like to go over it that I believe supports my claim and why it is correct. In November 2017, um, a high school student from South Torrance High School wrote an opinion piece titled, Why We Need to Talk About Mental Health in Schools. And she adds in a lot of important information and statistics and um, how we react to mental health now, but most importantly, how schools react to students and mental illnesses that can affect them. And even though this is an opinion piece and is written by a high schooler, she still adds a lot of important facts and points in her opinion piece that helps the subject that she is talking about. And she did make a lot of good points, which makes it a productive discourse opinion piece, but she did make a couple mistakes, which makes it a less unproductive discourse piece. And um, I think it's really important when we're talking about mental health to talk about how we treat and react the subject of mental health. And in her opinion piece, she compares mental illness to being sick or having a sprained ankle. And she even adds, we will all struggle with our mental health, yet we rarely, if ever, do anything about it. And I think this is a really good thing that she included in her opinion piece because it shares how our physical health is just as important as our mental health. and We need to take care of both of them. And um, this example in her piece is a good example of productive civic discourse because it provides an example that relates to our everyday lives. And she shares um, some statistics that show how many people go untreated for their mental health. But one that sticks out to me the most is that suicide is the third leading cause of death in youth ranging from ages 10 years old to 24 years old. And her providing this information adds to her uh, productive discourse because according to the textbook of public speaking and democratic participation, uh, productive discourse includes focus on ideas and it is respectful but not compliant. And her adding these statistics um, falls into both of these categories. And even though there are a lot of aspects of her opinion piece that are very productive, Um, She did make a mistake, which makes it a less productive opinion piece. And I noticed when she was stating these statistics that she didn't write where she got her sources from or the statistics from, either like in the beginning or the end of the sentence that she included the um, information from. And um, I believe that if she did add these sources, it would help her ethos and make her a more um, more reliable to the readers, uh, which would help her civil discourse. And these are just a few points in her opinion piece that she tries to use to make her opinion stronger. Um, but I think because of all the evidence she provided, she could help her un- um, her audience understand the importance of mental health in the um and her adding the statistics tremendously helped her opinion, but because she didn't cite them correctly, I think that made her opinion a little bit less reliable. And so based on the evidence that I have found, I believe that my claim is correct, that this opinion piece is a mix between unproductive and productive civil discourse.